behind math and science, really close, I would say, communication. Whether it's oral or email or technical writing, it's huge. If you got an idea in your head and you can't verbally explain it so somebody could execute it or write it down in a way that people understand it, the design is just useless and your idea goes nowhere. I think one of the areas of study that is most often overlooked looked by engineers is um, communication skills and, and writing skills, English. Um, you get so many engineers that come straight out of college that will go into a job and, and can't really write a letter that's legible or have a very hard time getting up and speaking in front of a group. Um, at least in what I do, I have to get up at least probably five or six times a month and speak, whether it be in front of a planning commission or a um, council or a township board. And we have to be able to convey what we're trying to do. It's writing, it's people skills, it's management, uh, all things that, uh, that you don't get out of a math and science class. In school, some of the activities I think that would be important would be just all of the academic off academic opportunities that they have to offer from math counts, the JETS program, and then see if you can find someone who works at an engineering firm because a lot of the times uh, they would be more than willing to show you around the office, tell you what they do, take maybe even take you out to job sites or something because that's where the real fun is, not just sitting behind a computer all day. If a student came up to me that was interested in engineering and had the had the background and just the desire to go forward to it, I, I would say get involved in the activities. Math counts is available and right now it's just taking the world by storm. It's, it's a way to keep your math at the top of its level and then also meet other kids that are interested in it. And alongside with that, I wouldn't forget your other, fine tune your other classes and, and just, just focus. It's, it's nice to have a balance between what you do professionally and what you do outside of the workplace. And, uh, and when I work, I work hard, and when I play, I play hard. And so there's, there's lots of fun things outside of engineering that, uh, that you, you come back and you refresh yourself with and you energize yourself and you, and you come back on a Monday or, or the next day after work and you feel good about it because um, it's, it's nice to, uh, to be able to uh, take it all in. So, go Red Sox. Uh, when I'm not working, I spend as much time with my family and friends, and I got a Harley, so when it's nice out, I'm riding. And then in the winter when it's not, I like to travel. Let's just say I've learned the strategy that I work to live. Um, it's engineering. I love my job, and I do everything there, but I would not give up everything I do. I love to travel. I absolutely love it. And I try to plan trips every year. I've been to Ireland, Italy, Greece, uh, the Bahamas. Um, but if I can't do that, <laughs> I'm lucky I live in Chicago that has anything and everything I could possibly imagine to do. The festivals all throughout the summer. I go to concerts on the lakefront. Um, I actually play ultimate frisbee every week. So um, that is an interesting sport in itself. <laughs> I like to be outside. Um, in the summertime, my wife and I go kayaking, I fly fish, I golf, not well, but I golf. Um, whether it's just taking a long walk in the woods with my dog on the weekends. Um, in the wintertime, snowshoe, cross-country ski, ski. I just, we just like being outdoors. Well, I like to spend a lot of time with my family. Um, I have a young daughter. She keeps us running. Um, but besides that, I really like to do different things outdoors. Um, I live in a pretty rural area, so going for walks or you know, just going to the beach, having fun. Um, we like to travel a lot, too, because there are just a lot of places to see, different cultures, different, different areas. Even just in the United States, you can go to different parts of the country, and, and it's very different from where you live. And it's, it's just a lot of fun to see, see how other people live. Activities that, uh, you know, that I like to do, I, I don't know, my wife... Outside of engineering, my wife continually tells me that I'm not a traditional engineer, but I, I don't know what that means. Um, I like to do a lot of hiking. I did a lot of backpacking um, you know, in past years before my daughters came along. I've been married now 15 years, and I have uh, you know, three little girls, and they just mean the world to me. So I spend a lot of time with them, and you, know, you might laugh, but one of, the, one of the things that I've done recently is uh, I've taken up a leadership position with the Girl Scout troop in, in uh, our town. You know, 
you know, and people chuckle at that, but what it does is it gives me an opportunity to interact with my girls, as well as a lot of other youths in the town. And through Girl Scouts, my wife is heavily involved in, in Girl Scout troops and leaders for my girls. I don't have boys, I have girls. And so how do you find a way to interact with girls and, and help lead them and guide them into what might end up being a career path? Do they look up to me and say, do I want to be an engineer like daddy? I, I don't know. You know, but the best thing that I can do for them is be a good mentor for them, and that means getting heavily involved in what they like to do as kids. I do a lot, actually. To let you know, I'm also in the military reserves, so I do that um, every month. And also, in the summer times, I you know, do a lot to support the America and be a part of the honor of being a part of the military. Also, for my kids, I have three children, and of course, my wife, I gotta make sure I spend time with them on off the basis. So I'm a soccer coach, <laughs> of course, and I've been coached for almost six years now. Um, also, I'm a refer basketball referee. Also, my kids, you know, they have a tendency to keep me real busy, so I keep them busy too. So they're the Boy Scouts, and I make sure I be a part of that. And also, we all, we all come together and work out together, walk around the block. We do things at Lifetime Fitness just to make sure we stay focused and have fun together. I do a lot of traveling too to make sure um, my kids do the same thing I did. My parents taught me. Um, I visit every single state except one. I'm missing Alaska. My kids, as of today, been to 23 of the 50 states, so we'll get there before they, go to, before they go to high school, hopefully. Some of the typical answers, like outdoor activities, taking the dogs for a walk along the trails that we have up in Alaska, um, fishing, hiking, then also knowledgeable about railroads, model trains, and then also online games. Um, Star Wars Galaxies is one. I know more than most people should about Star Wars and related such things. So you have to have some activities that you do out in the summer and some activities in the winter. I think engineers have an impact on almost everything we do. I think we take it for granted now and then. And I, I think back, um, I think back to the Roman aqueducts, to the Gutenberg Press, to Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. Engineers have had a hand in everything. I think engineering is probably, without a doubt in my mind, the most significant profession that humanity's ever known. I think that we have our fingerprints in everything that everybody touches today.